Hey everybody, so I'm back with another video and today we are going to be looking into the upcoming La Sportiva Equilibrium Speed. Um, so to get started, I'm just going to go over some kind of features of the shoe and then I'll give my thoughts on the shoe. Um, so yeah, so let's get into it. Um, so this is a new shoe in the Equilibrium line and this a new shoe in general. Um, it's a low cut uh, shoe with a performance gaiter that goes around the ankle and it does also have some uh, like padding in the top of the shoe so it just gives you extra protection around your ankle um, and it also has a quick uh, quick lace system uh, this sh shoe and boot has the same sole package as the rest of the equilibrium series um, so what you're getting is that you know that double heel the big lugs and spring lug technology with the uh, vibramont outsole so it's a super durable outsole I've, i mean I'm, i've had my equilibriums for uh, since 2020 and the sole just looks in great condition i've done a lot of miles in them so that's awesome to see um but also it's interesting to note with these shoes is that even though it's the same sole package they're a little bit less stiff um so that's interesting to see um, still uh compatible with semi-automatic cr uh, crampons it's got that rear bail so you can snap them on in the back and just use one that uh, the front bail that goes over your boot so that's great. Um, has a Gore-Tex Performance Comfort lining. I've used that lining in my current pair of Equilibrium boots, and that lining, one of the best Gore-Tex linings I've ever used. Um, just works really good. And uh, yeah, so those are kind of the general specs of the shoes. Because it is upcoming, I don't have detailed specs of you know the weight and everything, um, but those are kind of the just basic outlines of the boots. So. Let's get my thoughts on the shoe slash boot. And my thoughts are currently, I'm super excited about this release. Um, I had caught on early um, when this was announced. I think this was announced back in, I think, June of 2022. So it's been announced for a while. Um, and ever since then, I kind of I was kind of reading up on it. And I think this is going to be an ultimate... Um, shoe slash boot. Um, I've spent a lot of times with my current equilibriums and I've done a lot of things from scrambling to just straight up bushwhacking to doing long miles and they performed great. Um, but there are definitely times when, you know, those boots are just a little bit more, they're overkill than what you need. Um, you know, if you're trying to do a faster paced hike that's, you know, maybe around like 20 miles and you don't really need that full support of a boot. You know, you tend to look at trail running shoes or approach shoes, and both of those shoes within certain terrains. Um, I'm up here in the Rockies, and in the terrain, you can deal with a lot of like loose, uh, loose uh, rock, and um, some some hard pack trails here and there, and. You know, just with approach shoes and trail running shoes, they kind of both show their weaknesses at a certain point. Um, trail running shoes just overall for, like, the longevity of the trip, you know, it might just get to a point where by the end of the day your foot is just, you're just wasted because it just hasn't had that support that a trail running shoe gives you. Whereas uh, something like an approach shoe gives great support going up, but it's just a killer coming down. Um, there's been so many times I've been coming down where it's just like loud steps because I'm flat footing going down. Um, so I've, I've been really looking for that base, like th that shoe that will handle those activities really well. And I think this is going to be a shoe that does that. Um, um, and a lot of the promotional stuff, um, it was being kind of shown that like who would use this and La Sportiva was saying, you know, think of like Italian guides. And I, I can see why, but I also see that that could be really useful for a terrain like the Rockies here in North America. Just, I think it will be a boot that can handle fast and light things really well. Um, there's actually been a post from La Sportiva showing an athlete um, doing an FKT in this boot, and I'll link it in the description below. But it's really cool to see this kind of boot in action because, you know, at first I was like thinking like, oh man, this will just be like the Equilibrium. And the Equilibrium is, it's stiff. Um, it's pretty dang stiff, and I like that for, you know, dealing with backpacking and trekking and all that, but when it comes to a shoe, I didn't know if that'd be too stiff, but if you watch the 
quick video, you can kind of see that the equilibrium speed is being in how it's being used is um, the athlete even runs in it. And, you know, I've run a little bit in <laughs> in the equilibrium boot and it works just fine. But now having like a low cut shoe that is a little bit more flexible than the equilibrium, I think is just going to be a game changer. Um, it's just got everything you'd really look for in a very technical, lightweight, just do everything shoe. Um, you know, it's got the great sole package from the Equilibrium series. You know, you have the spring lug technology with the Mont rubber compound, you know, that's going to be long lasting and durable. You get the double heel, which is very efficient. I love it, but it also it gives me a great bite when I go, like when I'm scrambling or bushwhacking and I just come up to like, you know, kind of like a slope that has a lot of loose terrain on it. I love the Equilibrium sole package for going down that stuff i feel like i'm in control all the time and you know you're going to get a gore-tex liner that works really well and yeah i just think that this is going to be an ultimate shoe coming out um you know i think hikers will love it i think some runners will like it i even think you know i would probably wear the shoe even too to get into climbs i might switch this out for um approach shoes just because you know approach shoes they do have a, a very technical aspect. We know they have like a climbing edge on the toe. But sometimes, you know, if you're doing long hikes, you know, appro approach shoes can kind of fall flat. Um, I know there's a couple of approach shoes like the TX3s and maybe TX4s and the TX2s that are a little bit more like you can you can hike in them for sure. And I've done hiking in them, but they definitely excel better in like less technical terrain. Whereas getting a boot like this or a shoe like this, you know, it can really just change how your approach is. And I think I'm super excited for this boot and or shoe. I don't know really what you want to call it, but I'm super excited for it. I hope I can get my hands on it and test it. And if I can get my hands on it, I'll definitely give you guys a review. Um, but yeah, this has been a shoe that I've been looking forward to for a while now. And it's coming very soon. Um, it releases here in North America around mid-May. Might be might be releasing earlier in Europe. Um, not really sure on those dates, but all I know is that it's releasing in mid-May here in North America. So, yeah, that's the uh, Equilibrium Speed. Super excited for the shoe. Yeah, if I can get my hands on it, oh man, I'm I'm super stoked for it. So, yeah, so this has been kind of just a look at an upcoming shoe from La Sportiva. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you found it informative and uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one.